welcome back, it's Zoe and today I'm here with my April and March favorites. I know I skipped March so I want to include a couple of the ones that I used in that month too but I didn't want to skip a second month in a row because that just sucks. And I apologize in advance if you see this little outfit for the next few videos. I'm trying to film a few at a time today just because I know I've been lagging and that really frustrates me. I know it frustrates me when my favorite YouTubers like don't post for a while and I know I've been lagging on that so I apologize. So I'm gonna try to film two if not three videos today so you'll be seeing a lot of this look. I hope you like it. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the favorites, why don't we? Again, I'm sorry I didn't do a March favorites. It just didn't work out for me. There were a ton of things I want to share with you guys that month. And I feel like April, I just kind of used a lot of those similar items. And so I don't have as much as I'd originally planned the previous month just because I forgot some of those things and we're rolling with what we've got. So starting off, skincare. I do have a couple different items from there. First off, I have a cream that I really didn't think was doing much for my skin to be perfectly honest. I just kind of incorporated this into my routine thinking oh, it might be a little bit of a boost because I have oily combo dry but very acne prone sensitive skin. I uh, know I'm a complex creature. So it's frustrating trying new skincare products. It's a battle. I've had allergic reactions recently. Like I've learned the hard way that I have to be very careful with products and this one I've been using for quite a few months. I already finished a previous tube. Finished it. Didn't really think it did that much. Wasn't going to repurchase and then noticed that my skin was acting up again and was like hmm I think I'm gonna buy it again because I think it was helping so it's the rapid clear stubborn acne daily leave-on mask from Neutrogena this has benzoyl peroxide acne medicine it treats and controls acne vanishes into the skin and honestly you guys I just squeeze a little bit of this into the palm of my hand in the morning with my moisturizer my sunscreen mix them together pat them in we're good to go I do the same thing at night and honestly I do think it really does help keep my skin clear like I noticed a difference when I stopped using it wasn't planning on repurchasing my skin started acting up and was like hmm I think I needed that so I went and bought another one because yeah my skin really really reacts well to benzoyl peroxide so many skin acne like focus products have salicylic acid that really does nothing for my skin my skin doesn't like it it's not that I have reactions to it it just doesn't do anything it doesn't control my acne at all but benzoyl peroxide really works for me so that's why I decided to go with this it has 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide so it's not super high most like spot treatments have five to ten percent so it's just like a nice kind of hint of benzoyl peroxide to add to your routine to just keep your skin kind of balanced it works really well for me so I had to pick up another bottle because I noticed a difference and so who doesn't want clearer skin and yes I am having a little bit of a breakout situation but this has definitely been helping clear it up so I wanted to give that a shout out because I love this stuff to be honest and it's not always easy to find so when I find it I'm like hmm, yeah I'm gonna need that like it's definitely gonna be a go-to product for me now Moving along, the other one that I really, really love, and I think I got this for free. I want to say I got it with from Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I know I didn't buy this. I just don't remember who sent it to me. But it is the Origins High Potency Nitamins Night Cream. And honestly, I picked this up because I ran out of the previous night cream. I was using Strivectin before. And I was like, hmm, I don't really have so much cash. I was looking through the various products I've received through BoxyCharm and Ipsy over the years. And I found this at my little you know stash and was like hmm I've heard good stuff about that and I need a night cream all right let's do this and honestly I love this cream it's nice and thick it's not super heavy though it just leaves your skin feeling nice and like baby soft in the mornings so what I'll do is I'll use a little spatula to scoop some of this out put it in the palm of my hands mix it with that rapid clear mix them again powder all over my face after my serum and it just works really nicely my skin's really soft silky it's baby smooth in the mornings I really love this and a little Little bit goes a long way. I've been using this pretty much since January and I'm about halfway through the pot. So just the tiniest like pea sized scoop mixed in with the rapid clear has been working really nicely for my skin. So I love this thing. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a night cream. Like a nice thick really moisturizing one but that's not gonna cause you any like irritation or like overly clog your pores. It's really really good. I love this thing. So I had to mention that because both of these have just been game changers when it comes to my skincare. Like, I actually have people telling me recently, like, wow, you have really good skin. And I'm like, no, I've never had good skin. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's been really good. So, loving those two. Moving along to the actual makeup, why don't we? So, first off, 
this product I had actually said that I didn't really love, that I liked something else better, but now that I've been using it again, I'm like, you know what? They're about the same. And it is the Anastasia Moon Child Palette. I will say the formula on this is a little bit annoying because it's super delicate and it crumbles very easily. Mine's already broken. This one here just like cracked. I was able to like repress it and like you know kind of save the situation but it did crumble very easily so that's annoying but that's just a general thing with Anastasia palettes everyone's mentioned it the Nicole Guerrero one we had so many returns at Sephora because we were like it came broken we were like sorry so yeah Anastasia has a rep for having very delicate powders they're very finely milled and so they break easily that's my only like complained about this is that it's really annoying but um other than that it's a really good product I've been using this a lot for highlighting lately I like the Kat Von D one that I would kind of compared it to when I did my like NYX dupe I like this one better for eyeshadows or for you know across the lid kind of situation but for highlight this one's pretty decent and I've been reaching for her a lot I just find that the pan size is easier to use from this one when it comes to highlighting whereas with this one they're like round little dots and so they makes me think of eyeshadow not highlighter so I use this on my eyes I use this on my face they're both really good but I've been using this one a lot and in conjunction with it I have been using my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Halo. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is beautiful. So I always use this as a base with one of those Anastasia shadows on top. And it's beautiful. I'll just do a quick drop for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. If you're into holographic, unicorn, all that good stuff, this is beautiful. So there's a drop of it. And I'm not sure the camera's going to pick up. I'm not going to blend it too much so you guys can hopefully pick up on the multi-dimension of it. I don't think it's going to do it justice. There's a lot of purple in it, which I think on camera it's just showing up as like a holographic blue silver. But trust me, there's quite a bit of purple to it. It's just gorgeous. So I'll, I like to do like pat this into my cheekbone area, then dust it with some of the Moonchild colors, and it just works really nicely. So I've really been into that kind of holographic thing. It's really pretty. I'm digging it. So I've been doing that combo for a bit. I also can use the cover cover effects drops on my lids as a base for the Kat Von D. So those drops are just like amazing work for everything. Give them a shot. I know they're expensive, but these ones are actually worth it. The foundation ones, I still hate, but these ones, the actual like highlight cover drops, love them. Highly recommend those ones. Now, also, since we're on the topic of highlight, I have actually been highlighting quite a bit, which before was, like, my weakness, and I had to step up my game because Sephora had, like, highlight as the focus for our face, and I was like, okay, guess I better learn to do that. So I did. I think I'm doing a lot better, but one thing I've been loving is the Ch Clinique Chubby Stick. This was a 250, or, like, 100-point perk recently, and everyone was like, is it good? I was like, I don't know. I got this, I want to say an Ipsy or BoxyCharm again. I didn't buy this for sure. I know it wasn't in my Sephora gratis either, so I've had this for a while, actually. I was just sitting in my drawer. And so when it was a 100-point perk and everybody was asking me about it, I was like, hmm, you know what? I'm just going to play with it, see if I like it and if I can recommend anything for clients. And I actually love to use this as a highlighting base now. This, with another highlighter that I was also kind of like, hmm, underwhelmed, has actually been like one of my favorite combos. So there is a chubby stick. And I like to top that with the MAC Soft and Gentle, which this one was another product that I was like, I've had it for a while, I never reached for it, it's kind of overhyped, but the two together just make such a beautiful highlighted like glow on my cheek. I've had people compliment me when I'm wearing it. I just really like the results that I get when I use these two together, so both of them were kind of like meh, on their own, but together, a really great combo for me. Uh, and that's pretty much it for like highlights. One more face product I want to mention is the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer from Urban Decay. Now these primers have been very controversial. Some people love them, some people love to hate them. It's like either either end of the spectrum. No one's kind of in the middle. It's either great for you or it sucks for you. There doesn't seem to be very much middle ground and it's great for me to be perfectly honest. I really like the way it smooths my skin. I like the way it looks even by itself to be honest but this with my naked skin foundation has been a really nice combo and honestly I feel that I don't even need to powder when I'm wearing these two. It just sits so nicely. Like this holds this so well that I don't feel like I need anything else like I will use my MAC um, 
Fix Plus setting spray just to like lock everything in, but I don't feel like I need that added layer of powder. So this has been really, really nice. I really like this thing, and I know you either love it or hate it, so if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Ask for a sample at Sephora. You might It might surprise you, because it definitely surprised me. I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Everybody like talks badly about those, but... It's been working really, really nicely for my skin. It really smooths, just like evens out my complexion. I think it's great, and it holds my foundation well, doesn't melt off, doesn't cause me any irritation or breakout, so it works for me. I don't know about you, but yes. Okay, a few last things. Actually, I need to go faster. We're talking too much. All right, the Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D. This has been my go-to palette lately. I use this as a base shade, these two through the crease, and this on my lower lash line. Works well, gets me compliments, what I'm wearing today. I love this thing. I've been reaching for it nonstop. Also, glitters, the Lemonhead LA glitters. I did a whole video on these. I'm not going to talk too much about them because we all know I love them. They're really good. Check out the video down below if you're interested in more details. They're actually not even that overpriced. They're like $22, $23, depending on the formula. I love these things. I do not regret them. I really want to buy more, but I'm trying to be good because I have a huge haul to share with you guys, too. So, love those things, though. Then, a surprising one is actually a perfume. I have Prada Candy. I never thought I was going to love this. I got this in my Sephora gratis, and I was like, I don't know. You know, perfume's kind of a weird thing. But every time I wear it, my boyfriend's like, ooh, you have the nice smell on today. Like, mmm, honey. And I'm like, okay, okay, calm down. You like this a little too much. Um, and people have complimented me, like, oh, what are you wearing today? Like, it's one of those scents that makes well with my pH. And so I was like, okay. I'll see you. I haven't even had it that long and I've already gone through quite a bit, which is a good sign for me because my perfumes usually last me forever, forever. Like, no joke, I've had one for almost a decade, if not longer. So, I'm not a big perfume girl. I've been kind of switching into it over the past couple years and making myself wear it more, but with this one, I don't have to make myself. I'm just like, where's my perfume? And recently, I earned some gratis at work through like a little promo they were doing and I was able to choose something and I chose another bottle. I was like, um, yeah, I can get another bottle of perfume for free. I'm going to take that because that works really good for me. So yeah, definitely. I already know I'm getting another one in gratis because I picked it. So that's how much I liked it. And all right, I think that's pretty much most of it. Oh, I had a mascara I wanted to share with you guys because this surprised me too. This is not officially a mascara. It's a mascara primer, I guess you could call it. It's a black lash primer from Blink. And honestly, this was super clumpy. Like, the first few times I used it, it like it was really thick and clumpy on my lashes, and I kind of struggled with it. But once it kind of dries out, it actually just adds a ton of volume, and I love it. Like, I learned to work past the clumpiness. If you use the right mascaras on top of it or with it, it's amazing. I have used this with my CoverGirl Super Sizer. I've used it with um, a, one from The Balm. I've used it for, with my Long Comb. I've used it with Wet n Wild. Every mascara I use with this primer, like, this just volumizes it like if you apply it at the l lash roots it just adds like a nice thickness to them you like pull up it just it really really makes your lashes nice and thick it definitely adds quite a bit of product but again if you have the right brushes for your secondary mascara it's a beautiful effect i've had people complimenting me asking me like what fake lashes are you wearing and i'm like no these are mine these are mine i oh, know they're amazing you need that blink primer in your life like let me show you girls right here like I've been telling everybody and their mother about it it is so so good like I don't have thick lashes normally my lashes are pretty long but not thick and that just makes like the perfect combo so love that thing even though it is a higher end brand I'm gonna buy some more like I got this for free in Ipsy I don't even know how long ago it took me months to open it but once I did I was like girl where have you been what have you been doing with your life you needed this what 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 were you thinking like I regretted not opening it sooner, but at the same time, I'm glad that, like, it hasn't dried out yet, you know? So, I'm definitely going to repurchase this, though. So amazing. So, that is pretty much everything that I've been loving for the past couple months. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer them for you. And, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know some of your favorites from the past month or two in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like button so you know you enjoyed this. And subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you soon.